Hey, this is Jake from Mido. I'm gonna show how you can automate your data cleaning and data analysis using Mido. So for those who are new to Mido, Mido is a spreadsheet interface for Python. You see we've called the Mido sheet package into our Python environment here. We're using JupyterLab. And every edit we make in this front end here, as we call in our data and we edit the data, every edit we make is gonna generate the equivalent Python in the code cell below. So it's a really fast way to get your analysis done and generate Python while you do it. So as I, again, Every edit we do is going to generate the equivalent Python below. Um, so it, all I had to do to render this was just import MitoSheet and then call MitoSheet.sheet, which renders this blank interface. Just want to show you how you install the Mito package. Here, this is our documentation website. You just, these three commands right here, you can pause the screen and run these in your terminal and then open JupyterLab. And then once you do that, you will get the Mito sheet here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just import my data. This is connecting to my local files. I'm gonna take in this data here. Where is it? This ramen data. So I'm importing this CSV. You know, we can get any data size that can fit into a data frame into Mito. So if you're struggling with the data size that you have in Excel or other places, you can really easily just upload that right into Mito. So here we see our data set. The first thing I wanna do is just get rid of these null values. We're looking at data about ramen noodles, by the way. So whether the ramen, the certain order of ramen ranks in the top 10 or not is what we're looking at in this column. And we see we have all these null values. So I'm just gonna click on this icon here, add a filter to this column, which is, is not empty. And there we go, we get rid of all the null values. When we do that, we generate the equivalent code right here for what we just did. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna remove all the ramens that come from Singapore. So I'm gonna apply another filter here filter and we're going to do um, does not contain I'm just going to type in Singapore here and we see we got rid of all that and so we're left with 34 values and now I just want to know um, how many values how many entries of ramen do I have from each of these countries so I'm just going to do a pivot table we're going to do country as the row value and then I'm gonna put country again here as value and just we're gonna count those. So we see we have one from China, six from Indonesia, six from Japan, six from Malaysia, et cetera, et cetera. And when we do that, everything we've done is creating the, gen the equivalent code down here. So here's the code for the pivot table, for example. Here's those filters we've applied. And so as you can see, we really quickly did this analysis and generated code while we did it. This was a simple analysis. I just wanted to run you through quickly. And now I can show you how you can automate this process going forward. So if you're going to do a process over and over again on new data sets, you only ever have to do it once in Mito. So I'm going to do is save this analysis I've done, which will save this code down here. So let's call this ramen. We'll save that. And now we have the same ramen analysis. We're saving the steps we've done here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call another Mito sheet and I'm going to call in a new ramen data set. Uh, right, where is it? R, 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 oops, did I miss it? Where is it? Here we go. Wrong data set. We see the data is not clean. We still have the null values. We still have some Singapore here. So all I'm gonna do is just replay my saved analysis. I'm just going to apply this analysis. Replay, and here we go. Here's our data set, and here's the pivot table that we ended up with. So we all we did not have to do the steps again. We just generated that from running the save analysis. It's sort of like a macro, essentially. And now that we've done that, we'll also generate all the code again below. So for every analysis you do, you generate the code. There are other things we can do in Mito as well, besides just saving and replaying analyses. So if we go back to our pivot table here, we can graph this super easily with Mito. So I'll hit the graph button. And then as my x-axis, I will set the country and then y-axis, the country count. And we'll see, we get a nice graph displaying uh, the values, the frequencies for each country here. If I go back to the base data set, uh, let me just close this graph, there's a few other things I can do as well. So I can add columns and delete columns, for example. So this column here, let's say we want to delete that, gone. Really great way to condense your data sets down to the data you want to look at. Let's say I want to add a column here, but maybe before that, let's say I want to change the data type. So for any column, we can change the data type, which is something people struggle with in Python sometimes. In Mito, it's super simple. So I'll just click. This is a string. Let's make this an integer. There we go. And again, we'll generate the code for that step. Every step generates the equivalent code below. And this is code that you can use and carry forward with the rest of your analysis. Um, now that it's an integer, let's say I want to add a column next to it. And let's say I want to put a formula in here. So I want to do the value of this column times 10. There we go. 
and we can obviously do, obviously do much more complex formulas as well. So just to run through the things we can do, we can do um, undo the steps we've done. So I click undo, we'll see we deleted that. We can also redo, so you can cycle through the steps going back and forth throughout the different steps of your analysis. You can clear your analysis back to the base state, which is the state in which you imported the data. You can import data, you can export this as a CSV, you can add columns, delete columns, pivot tables, we can merge data sets together using different types of joins. We have lookup, left, right, inner, and outer. And we can also graph and then save and replay. So there's a lot you can do in Mino. I hope you get a chance to check it out. Just as a reminder, here are the install instructions and uh, please reach out with any questions. Thanks.